everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is entitled, Are you, Is the Internet Sick of This Shit? <laughs> what do I mean by that? I mean, you know, all the shenanigans that's going on with Windows and um, home users leaving Windows by the droves. In fact, corporate Windows users are leaving Windows as a platform and seeking open source alternatives you can find many stories on the internet about various different governmental bodies in various different countries around the world all leaving windows like rats leaving a sinking ship so what is the point of today's video well the point of today's video really is to just get your feedback are you sick of this shit and it doesn't matter whether you're talking about Windows or Linux. There's always a flavour of the day. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> There's always the next brilliant thing that's going to be amazing that never is and never does. As you all know, I'm firmly on Linux Mint and I'm going to be on Linux Mint now till the day they either lower me into the ground or put me into an oven. <laughs> One of the two. I love Linux Mint. Why do I love Linux Mint? Because I think that Linux Mint is one of the most boring operating systems on the planet. What do I mean by that? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's really beautiful and you can make it look and feel how you want to. <clears throat> what I mean by that is... Everything just works and the operating system runs day in, day out. No crashes, no blue screens, no issues. This is Linux Mint 22.1, which I upgraded from Linux Mint 22. The upgrade process was absolutely flawless and so simple a child could do it with consummate ease. I don't know why that keeps doing that. It's a graphical glitch. Got to love AMD. <clears throat> I just love how everything is so straightforward and boring. I love the Mint update. Um, I love the fact that it just smoothly does the time shift backups. It doesn't matter what game I install on it. It runs beautifully and for those games that won't run on linux which is no fault of linux because the games contain kernel level anti-cheat systems yeah that's a shit hole right there isn't it in that just that one statement well there's always geforce now so i don't feel in any way shape or form limited or restricted because I've chosen Linux as opposed to Windows. I feel I have access to absolutely everything that I could want. And believe you me, I've got nearly two and a half terabytes of games installed on this Linux Mint installation. And you can see them here. And it's a complete and utter hodgepodge mixture from native Linux games to games that will run under Linux to games that will only work on Windows that require Proton. Some are running under Wine. And it honestly, it just works all the while. Everything, it, it doesn't matter what game I run. It's just fantastic. It really is. So I don't feel constrained restricted limited or a poor man's window i feel so blessed and so honored i've been heavily modding games i've been installing mods and setting mods up like there's no tomorrow now the only announcement i will make in this game is my live stream series on the original kotor is at an end and i've decided to go to Kota 2 um, because Kota 2 is just so much improved over the original Kota. I'm not saying it's a better game 
play all story wise but graphical wise you know i mean i'm running 1280 720 i should be on 1080p but my rx 580 8 gigabyte graphics card will do 1080p but have noticed after a while it starts to go a little bit shitty whereas on 1280 720 um, it's perfect it never ever goes shitty it's rock solid and star wars knights of the old republic 2 um has the 1280 resolution baked in inbuilt whereas the original kotor just will not work in 1280 by 720 it just won't it's as simple as that and it will run beautifully in 1920 1080 uh, but it won't work 1280 720 and everything's all kind of messed up and fecked up and all the rest of it so I don't know what where where these have all come from. Uh, I think that's the latest one that I was chuffing about with. Um, so yeah, I I don't feel in any way constrained or restricted. I actually feel completely and utterly liberated. The fact that I'm not using uh, Windows and the fact that I am on Linux Mint <coughs> now. Of course, the Linux Mint that I'm running isn't a rolling release distribution. Um, as you all know, I heartily recommend and support MX Linux every day of the week, um, Linux Lite, uh, and Cache OS. However, wouldn't it be fantastic if there was an Ubuntu version of all those three distros? <coughs> Excuse me well jump for joy now there is it's called rhino linux and rhino linux is an ubuntu distribution which is a rolling release so it's install once and forget um your other option and the other flavor of the day for gaming is nabara linux which is built and based off fedora which i would never ever use in a billion years um but i think the three flavours of the day are Cache OS, Rhino, Linux, and, of course, Nabara. Um, I would only ever recommend Cache OS because I've used it. Rhino Linux looks fantastic, but I'm not convinced that it's not a Turkish delight distro. So it's full of Eastern promise. Mm, but still, you, till you start using it and getting to grips with it, well, you don't really know what you're getting, do you? I'm just saying. With Linux, I mean, I know what I'm getting. Um, to mod the game is simplicity itself. Um, to install games is simplicity itself. Wine works beautifully. I've got access to pretty much every app and utility I could ever want. So, I don't know why people would feel um, second-class computer users by using something like Linux Mint. The other beauty of using Linux Mint, <coughs> excuse me, as opposed to Cache OS or Rhino or Nabarro, is Linux Mint is tried and tested every day. It just works. So I feel very privileged, very happy, and very proud in 2025 to be on linux mint i could just as easily be on mx linux because i think the guys and girls over at mx linux go above and beyond the call of duty um run with the dolphin i would adopt him as a brother but don't ever tell him that for christ's sake i think he's an amazing guy i love his content he's the sort of guy i'd want to go for a beer with he's not your typical if such a thing exists linux geek nerd you know, he's just a lovely family guy who loves his Linux, knows his onions, and will help anybody, providing you don't make him eye roll. Make him eye roll, suffer his wrath. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, but yeah, so I'm firmly happy on Linux Mint. Um, on the media side, I'm watching movies in beautiful quality every day. Um, the backups are running beautifully every day. 
I've I've installed that many different kinds of games and they all run beautifully. They really, really do. I love the Cinnamon Desktop, um, despite in the past me hating it, uh, because it was especially difficult to get to grips with it with video and content creation work. Because, look, Cinnamon is Cinnamon, isn't it? But with the newer versions, all those old issues seem to have gone away. Um, and for me, it's just perfect. So my Linux Mint PC is 100% fully loaded with just about every piece of software you could possibly want for. The Cinnamon's working great. The operating system's working fantastic. I don't feel the need to look at Rhino Linux, Nabara Linux, uh, Endeavor Linux, as you will know of Rancasha. I just don't feel the need and the excitement. I see everybody's talking about the March release of the 6.14 kernel, and that's going to bring a whole new generation of graphics stuff. And one of the downsides of Linux Mint is it uses an older tried and trusted kernel which a lot of people will look at it and go meh i need something newer be very careful in your statements because this older tried and trusted kernel i think it's a six eight kernel i'm on um just works day in day out and more importantly works with everything so please let me have your 10 penneth underneath Please let, I'm not trying to, please understand, I'm not trying to convert or force people to use Linux Mint. You want to use Nabara, use Nabara. You want to use Rhino, use Rhino. You want to use Cache, use Cache OS. But I can't sing the praises of Linux Mint highly enough as a daily driver operating system. It just does a lot. Please let me have your 10 penneth worth i'm specifically interested in people's experiences on their linux operating systems or windows operating systems you know are you sick and tired of the shit that windows is doing to you reporting on you spying on you snooping on you using all your fucking hardware up before you've done anything um please let me have all this feedback because i really do Love and enjoy reading your comments, even if your comments is, you know, hey, Ebes, you're a cock. Now, that's fine. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. You're all very welcome here. My original statement stand true today is they did in 2023. Um, this website is 100% free, so you can't pay money to join a membership or do super chats. It's 100% free, as is in Linux. And just on a little side note, today is a very special day. It is my two-year anniversary on YouTube. For I created this YouTube channel in January of 2023. And we are fast approaching 2,000 subscribers already. So my sincere thanks to everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't subscribed... Why the fuck not? You're watching the content. Get your ass on the subscribe button and subscribe. I won't be telling you again. And thank you all for your continued support. I continue to make good progress in my stroke recovery, which is fast approaching 18 months now since I had my stroke. So I'm doing okay. I've got lots and lots of plans for the YouTube going forward providing I don't drop dead in the real world, of course. Um, and on forward, by forward, I mean on into retirement. This year should be a very exciting, very turbulent, um, very rewarding year for me both personally and I'm hoping uh, on the content creation side. So yeah, that's my take on windows linux mac everything use what works for you but i have to be honest people fuck me linux mint it's the dog's bollocks it really is thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up if you loved it down if you hated it i will see you for another wicked broken ebes video